Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 56. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today we are going to be doing the 10 lap Silverstone Challenge. And we are going to be doing it in this Nissan GTR R35 Touring Car again. Unfortunately, uh, this is like the third attempt of doing this. And uh, the other cars that I tried to do didn't work. So we are going to be using the R35 for the next two uh, races. But obviously, typical opponents are the R35 anyway. So... We should be well within the ballpark for this. Uh, 123,004 coming in at first place. So let's let's just get straight into it. No point delaying it. We're going to have some fun and be driving for the next 25 minutes non-stop. I think it'll be about 25. Here we go. Right, we've got four GTs, R35 touring cars, GT by Citroen. Very nice. No McLaren F1. Which is a huge, huge, huge bonus. So I am glad for that one. Absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah. Let's do this. Right, here we go. R35 Touring Car. Please, 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 Silverstone. Don't do me dirty with this race. Let me get something good. Let me get something good, please. Right. And we have started. Uh, it's, the R35 is just so much better than any other car in this game. Like, there's within reason. There are obviously cars that are overpowered. For example, the Red Bull X2010, the Red Bull X2011, the Red Bull X2014. I don't think the X2019 would be. Pretty sure they stopped updating the game in like 2016. Pretty sure. Uh, and we are probably going to end up going fairly flat out. I don't know. Maybe. I have extended the gearbox a little bit as well, so we will be running at much much lower revs. But then again, our acceleration is slightly slower, so we have to work out a safe compromise. And I think this is the safest we can get. What are you doing? You clearly drove into my line there. Right, so as long as we keep driving like this, we should be able to do a one-stop method. Um, and the other cars up ahead aren't too much faster than us, so... Should be quite easy to catch up to. Oh, look at that. That's the TT uh, GC3 car. Let's get past the racing Corvette. Oh, that was big boy karma there. Well, that is much better. 22 seconds is much better than 45. Which is what we had on the first race that we did. With the Audi R8 GC3. Didn't go well at all. And especially being able to use Slipstream whilst in the higher gears to overtake. Oh, that's just a banging tactic. Again, I have... Trust me, I've been trying to avoid using this R35 too much. But uh, sometimes it is very difficult to find the right cars for the job. Just the R35 does a great 
great job of just everything to do with the racing. And the fact that it's four wheel drive just adds on to the how efficient it is as well. Right, let's use Slipstream now then. Amazing. There is literally no acceleration whatsoever in sixth gear. For some reason. Come on, get past the GTR. Goodbye, GTR. Right, so when this timer hits one minute, if we are any lower than halfway of fuel, we are going to be doing a 4-7 uh, pit strategy. If when we hit a minute, we have more than half a tank of fuel, we'll be doing a 5 uh, pit stop after the fifth lap. And now... Right, so we have three cars in front of us. Hopefully we are gaining. We are gonna be pushing. We are definitely going to be pushing the amount of fuel that we have. But it is a test I am willing to take. Seventeen seconds behind, that's fine. Because we can push on the final lap. And if we glide towards the end of the straights, we can actually save even more fuel. Because this game, um, I think a bit like uh, F1, even though in real life your engine would still be using up the fuel because it's turning and spitting in fuel, because that's how our engines keep moving, uh, it completely stops your fuel usage, totally. When you glide, when you glide, it just there's no fuel being used whatsoever, whether you're in sixth gear or first gear. And then when you do accelerate, I think it is purely based off of like revs. Perfect. Hopefully we can get a win around this track. Silverstone's a very nice track. Very slow around that corner. That was ridiculously slow. Oh, we are going to be pushing it. We're going. We're going for it. And we are lucky because we have more, right? We've done four laps and that's lasted three. So 
We have plenty of fuel for a bit of a push for this lap. Hopefully. If it does, like, drop dramatically, we will have to do, like, emergency fuel saving procedures. But by the looks of it, we should be safe. One thing I wish this had was fuel maps. So at least you could um, be able to turn it down and then push up maximum rather than doing like this fuel save method of using a gear way higher than you should be. Because I really don't like that fuel save method. I don't think we would have had enough for five laps if we were pushing it every single lap. That's for sure. 12 seconds behind though. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is full tank of fuel. Uh, and racing hard tires. Let's go. Come on. First place actually hasn't gone into the pits yet. So they're going to be on fuel saving measures. And look at that. That is a R34 touring car in front of us. And drop us down. There we go. And off goes the uh, touring car. So we're in fourth place right now. We're now in fifth place. Oh, out goes that that team, whoever that is. Sixth place. Right, here we go. Our control now. Definitely cross over the white line at the pit exit there. So that is like breaking all sorts of rules. And this is where slipstreaming helps, because we can now fuel save on the first lap. We're going to go like extreme fuel saving for the start. Because we're going to use these cars that haven't pitted yet to get us the advantage. Oh, cars are pitting like crazy at the moment. Go, 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 go. Pull out. That's what she said. Here we go. Seriously, we've used the amount of fuel that you would expect for half a lap. Right, are we in their slipstream? We are not. You were in front of us while we were in the pits. I overtake you, and I know I am not going to have to worry about you again. Right, so we are in third. We're 25 seconds behind. How are we so far behind? They can't have pitted then. Could not have gone worse if we tried. 
We are now 16 seconds behind. What? Did they pit then? I have a feeling I know exactly what that car is up in front. That is the GT by Citroen race car. seconds behind. We are gaining time. Four seconds for that lap. Let's glide around there. So we've been using, on average, about three quarters of a section. So per lap. One and a half. Three, three and three quarters. So if we carry on how we are now, we'll have a quarter of like, we'll have half of that red zone by the end of the race. Hopefully, if we do the next two laps with good fuel saving tactics we can push on the final lap perfect Whenever you're at Silverstone and you're going around, um, like sitting in the stand, you do not, under any circumstance, want to sit in direct sunlight. You want to be in a stand where there's a roof. When there's a roof, you're fine. Because the British sun, though we may be a colder country, burns. Like, it will kill you. <laughs> It like plots against people. It's like, oh yeah, let's roast you. Two more laps left to go though. This race has gone very well so far. Unfortunately, that guy has not pitted yet. Right, we should have enough for a final push lap. In fact, we could push halfway through. We can do like a multi mix of the two. So we can go like max revs. But we coast. That could be an option. Fuck it. Let's let's just push. Get that position and then we can defend it afterwards. Help from another car right now. 5.9 seconds. We are gaining. And 
and that car there slowed him down big time. So thank you very much for that, whatever car you are. Maybe five seconds behind. 4.8. That's fair enough. We were 10 behind. Four. the car did spin out then. Oh my gosh, that would destroy my race. Right, come on. Come on, it's just a Ford GT. <coughs> no way, no way. We're in first. This is it. This is it. No way. Oh my gosh, 1.2 seconds ahead. I mean, my predictions were very far off. On oh, the amount of fuel that we would have left. But it's not too bad. It wasn't too bad. And there we go. Very nice. First place with a 2054. And the Ford GT was 0.5 seconds behind us. Oh, very nice. That was a very impressive race there. 36 miles we just did. That's crazy. Right, let's claim all of our monies. Give me my money. No, are you just going to try and load a replay that I'm going to skip immediately? Of course you are. And there we go. One million credits total. And three stars. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter. Discord and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. I will take you